Every year, the Earth loses a significant portion of one of its most valuable resources, its tropical forests. One of the main issues at the heart of deforestation is insecure land tenure. Tenure refers to the rights of access and management of land and natural resources, such as forests. When tenure is unclear, the forest may be perceived as a common resource that is open to exploitation. Unfortunately, in many countries throughout the world, tenure systems are unclear and in critical need of reform. Changes must happen both at the national policy level, but also on the ground. In the northwest of Cambodia, a group of monks and villagers are strengthening tenure governance using a new technology called Open Tenure. Open Tenure is a tool to map and better understand land use. ហើយស្រកបៃស្រកហើយគុំ <coughs> Open Tenure is open source software. It's developed by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. It is designed to give communities a tool which will enable them to record their own land, forests or fisheries, and the resources that are located on them. First, a team of community facilitators, composed of monks and villagers, is introduced to some of the underlying principles of land tenure, including the voluntary guidelines on the responsible governance of tenure. Four years ago, about 130 countries came together to discuss and, re and uh, look for an agreement on what constitutes good and responsible governance of tenure. This is groundbreaking work in that it not only established good guidelines for what constitutes responsible governance of tenure, but also a policy framework. Now, the challenge is for countries to implement these voluntary guidelines. Next, the trainees are instructed on how to use the Open Tenure tool and to consider how open tenure could be used most effectively in their own community. Before going to the field, participants learn how to create a claim and to input critical data, such as names, dates and photos, to back up land tenure claims. They can also attach and store important documents, such as land title agreements between households and local authorities. A meeting with the villagers is arranged to introduce open tenure and to explain in simple terms how the technology works. Together, a plan for the field work is developed. In consultation with local villagers, they mark the boundaries of croplands with the tablets using geospatial data to identify features and add waypoints on the map. As soon as a polygon is complete, the data is saved to upload it later. The teams are interested to map the agricultural fields of the villagers to reassure them that they may continue to farm on their traditional lands inside the community forest. They also want to prevent encroachment from outsiders and make sure that current land holdings don't expand and affect the forest. The monks are strongly dedicated to protecting biodiversity. This forest is home to a wide array of threatened and endangered species, such as banteng, green peafowl and white-shouldered ibis. As open tenure can be customised to suit the needs of individual communities, the core wildlife zones are also mapped. Once the data collection is complete, the field data can be uploaded to the server. In the future, the community may decide to formalise the tenure claims with the government, but the first step is to build the community's knowledge and internal consensus around how its land is used. <laughs> ហើយអាកម្មវិធីបើជាងហោនេះមានប្រយោជន៍
chiếc xe đòi lê cứ không khẽ đòi mình chế ní cứ miền 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 kết dưới nó để để bàn ạ cầm thi ní cơn lờ đòi xa ta mơ khởi chiếc liệ In the context of a country like Cambodia, where threats to land and resources are many, sustainable and equitable management is key. Open Tenure aims to improve this situation from the bottom up by giving communities a powerful tool, a tool which supports local ownership and facilitates sustainable management long into the future.